um, David Turpak, I believe, he made a comment that said, uh, that's very, what did he say? Very ju judgmental of me. It's not, it's not judgmental at all. It's a fact. I'm going to explain to you why. First of all, I think it's very hypocritical for you to say that, David, since you've actually made a video discussing me, right? Which I never commented on. It wasn't the worst thing. I wasn't oh, offended. God. But you put out a YouTube video <clears throat> discussing how I've gone so far to the other side, like purely positive side, and I'm anti-punishment. And we didn't, we didn't say it was anti-punishment. We'll get back to what we actually did say about it. You put my name in the title. And I'm judgmental. Now, someone sent that to me, and I didn't take offense to it. I actually watched it, and I listened. And I was going to respond to it because what you said was very inaccurate. You cherry-picked a lot of things. And I don't think you did it on purpose or to be malicious. I really don't. And I was going to explain to you why you're wrong and give you examples, right? But whenever you put someone's name in a title, it's for a reason. Yeah, clickbait. We said it in the video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we did. And I was going to have a decent conversation with you, but then I think in that same video, you, I, I, and I could be wrong, but I think you said you were a Jeff Gelman fan. So as soon as you said that, I knew, I knew it wasn't worth my time, right? It didn't make sense because anyone who claims to care about the well-being of these animals and could say you're a Jeff Gelman fan Either you're completely ignorant to what that guy does, or you just don't care and you're along the same lines. So oh, man. We just get into like this whole like comparing people to people that they speak with or associate with and stuff like that. And listen, this is yeah. a societal issue at this point, I think, yeah. right? Past just like a Larry issue or a David issue or a yeah. Jeff issue or this or that. But listen, like we had an hour and a half long conversation with Jeff Gellman last week, mm -hmm. right? The guy has knowledge to provide to people, right? As far as the whole, like, saying you're a fan of this person or this yeah. person, that's no different than I said that I like Larry Crone, right? I say that I like Jeff Gelman. I say that I like uh, Sean O'Shea. I like Tyler Muda. I like Brandon Fouché. Like, we've talked about all of these different trainers that I like. But yeah. here's the thing, right? Just because you like somebody, right, or like certain things that somebody may preach does not mean that you agree with everything that they do. No. You know what I mean? <coughs> I, we've talked about this before. Like I even said it to Jeff, like when we were discussing the bonker, like on his podcast show, right? Like, and I used, um, I used Gary as an example because I've only ever seen Gary train dogs in person, right? I've never yeah. actually seen Jeff Gelman train dogs in person. So yeah. I don't have anything to go off of as far as that's concerned, right? As far as the full context of situations, yeah. obviously. But I discussed in his case, right? In, in Gary's case, him using the bonker with some little dog at his seminar that it was like way too extreme of an aversive, right? Like yeah. it was unnecessary in my opinion, yeah. right? I wouldn't have done it that way, this, that, right? So, so, Whatever, you know, you want to make a call that like because I associate myself with a person, I'm, I'm a horrible human being or something like that. That's fine. But here's my other problem with this. And this is where you get into to forget Larry for a minute. Mm -hmm. Just in general, the dog community and the force free community and a lot of the people that like to scream like abuse, 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 abuse mm -hmm. towards any time somebody's applying corrections or punishment or this or that. And they think it's too much. Right. Mm -hmm. There's laws against the animal abuse, guys. Right. Mm -hmm. If somebody as well known as Jeff Gelman is truly out here just abusing dogs, why is he not in jail? Exactly. I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I don't get it. So like unless there are like actual like records against him showing that's what he's done. And at this point, he's had enough people out to get him, and I'm sure enough people sneak into his seminars to try to catch him on things and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Again, I may not agree with everything he does, and I may not agree with how much force he jumps into right off the bat in certain situations and stuff like that, but it's not for me to judge. Yeah. So whatever. So so that quick quick reply on that part right oh. there.